This is Honors Geometry Section 11.6 on Geometric Probability. And we're looking at basically percent shaded in this section. If you have an object, we're asking what percent of it is shaded. And in general, our formula for percent shaded is always going to be the area shaded divided by the area total. Let's just go ahead and jump into this first problem. In this one, we have a circle inscribed inside of a square, and we have those regions on the outside that are shaded. So our percent shaded for this problem is going to be the shaded area over the total area. The, the total area is the area of the square. The shaded area isn't anything that we can find directly. It's going to be one of the indirect ones. And to find that, we're going to take the area of the square minus the area of the circle. Now, notice in this problem, we're not given any numbers. And we're going to see that pretty frequently in these problems because we're looking at this shape, which is similar to any other shape that has a circle inscribed inside of a square. It could be a lot bigger or a lot smaller. The shaded area would change, and the total area would change, but it would change proportionally because of the factor of similarity here. So it doesn't matter what length we start with here, but once we choose a length in a problem like this, we have to make sure we stay consistent and use it throughout. We can choose whatever number we want. Some numbers are better than others. I'm going to ch choose a nice number of two. So I'm going to say, this is the shape we have, and each side of the square is equal to two. So the area of the square is going to be four. That goes in the numerator and denominator. That means that the radius for the circle is one. Pi times one squared is one pi. So our shaded area in this one is four minus pi over four. If I had chosen a different number, it would have simplified down to the same exact answer that we have right here. So our exact answer is 4 minus pi over 4. And we'll go to the calculators then and make sure you're using parentheses. Take 4 minus pi divided by 4. And we're going to round all these to the nearest tenth of a percent. And this one's coming out to about 21.5%. Now for a note on this problem, Anytime you have a circle inscribed inside of a square like this, it's always going to be 21.5% shaded if you're looking outside of the circle. If we're looking at inside of the circle, um, it wouldn't have been 4 minus pi. It wouldn't have been square minus circle. It just would have been circle over square, and that number would have been different. In fact, it would have been 100% minus this to get that part of it. One more note. At the top of our guided notes, I said the scrambled answers are on the back page. So when I scroll down, we have this random list of numbers here in no particular order. Since this answer was 21.5%, I can cross off those numbers and then go back to the other problems and kind of use this as a guide to see if my problems are getting, I'm getting the correct answers. One other thing I would recommend going through the 11.6 notes is that you look at the problem, try it on your own, cross off the answers from the back, and then if you're stuck, come back and watch the video notes for how to do it. But I think a lot of these problems you should be able to figure out on your own. So at this point, I would pause, work through them, use those guided notes on the back, and only come back to the, the video here if you're really stuck. Here's our second problem. And the percent shaded this time is going to be the area shaded over the area total. The total area is the area of the circle and the shaded area is the area of that sector. We can do this one directly. We can find the area of that one. Like the previous problem, there is no number given as far as size. We don't know the radius, the diameter, the circumference of the circle. So we can use whatever we want. I would suggest, again, using a nice number. Two is a really nice number because then the radius is one. Given that, I know the area of the circle is pi times one squared, so our denominator is one pi. The numerator is a sector. It has an inscribed angle over here of 40 degrees, which means that the central angle then is going to be 80 degrees. We have this two to one ratio. So the area of that sector is 80 over 360 times pi r squared. Do my little work over here. The radius is one, so one squared makes that a one. 80 over 360, I can divide by 10, I can divide by four. And if I look at simplifying that any further, it doesn't go down any further. So the area of that sector is 2 pi over 9. Good news, numerator and denominator, we can both divide them both by pi. So we get 2 over 9. There's our exact answer. And if you take 2 divided by 9, you get a percent of about 22.2%. .2%. Now, in the first problem, there were a lot of calculations to do. 
in this one, we could have probably done it without going through this whole process. Sometimes when you see a problem, it just kind of makes sense. And this one we're saying two ninths out of the circle is shaded. And the 80 over 360 is where we get that two ninths from. So if we're doing percent shaded, sometimes there might be a simpler way to think about doing a problem rather than going through all the calculations. But make sure you have your work shown and you have it in an organized way that can be followed. Okay, here's our next problem. We have a rectangle, there's a diagonal drawn, and we have this left part shaded in. And in this one, I could do a lot of calculations. Actually, it's not even a lot of calculations, but I know that this one is going to be exactly 50%. That's both a concrete number and an exact number. Half of the circle is shaded, or half of the rectangle is shaded, it's 50%. Next one, we have this shape. We have length of eight, six, and so forth. And if I look inside of this rectangle, opposite sides are congruent, which means that this length is going to have double marks, which means that this top triangle up here is going to be regular. So all of the angles are going to be 60 degrees. They're going to be congruent to each other. And in the rectangle, the top side is parallel to the bottom side. This angle is corresponding to that angle. Same thing on the right-hand side. So those angles are also going to be 60. So the big news here is even though it doesn't have the markings for it, this entire shape is, in fact, a regular triangle. Since it's regular and each side is 8, that means these two little leftovers on the outside are 1 and 1 each. And now I'll start going into the process of figuring out the percent shaded. The total area is the area of the regular triangle, and the shaded area is the area of the rectangle. For the rectangle, it's length times width, or base times height, six times that. This little triangle here in the lower right-hand corner has got to be a 60, 90, 30, or a 30, 60, 90 triangle. One is the short leg, so the long leg is going to be root three times bigger. So going back to the rectangle, the area is six times root three. So that is our numerator, that's the shaded area. The area of the entire triangle is 8 squared root 3 over 4. It's a quick way to find the area of a regular triangle. And if we simplify that down, that comes out to 16 root 3. Divide the numerator and denominator both by root 3. Divide them both by 2. We get a nice exact answer of 3 eighths, which equals 37.5%. percent next one, our percent shaded is the area of the triangle minus the area of the circle divided by the area of the triangle. No number is given, so I can decide what I want. I've been using two quite a bit, but as I start to delve into this one a little bit, I'll notice that when I draw this segment in here, um, there's our right triangle, or there's our right angle. Then if I draw a segment coming from vertex to the center, now we have this triangle. It was originally a regular triangle, so I'm bisecting it. So now it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And um, I can start by saying each side of the triangle is something, or I can say that the radius of the circle is something. But again, once I've made a decision, I have to stick with it. So I'll say that this length is going to be 1 right here. And that means that this length is going to be 1 times root 3, or this entire length of each side of the regular triangle is 2 root 3. Now we'll go to the calculations. The area of the triangle, this regular triangle, is the length of one side squared times root 3 over 4. We square this part of it, we get 12. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So the area of the regular triangle is 3 root 3. That's for the numerator and the denominator. The area of the circle is pi times 1 squared. That's just pi. This exact answer won't simplify it down at all. And if we look to get the approximate answer, make sure you're using parentheses in that numerator as well as the denominator, and it should come out to about 39.5%. Next one, we have a quarter of a circle and then a chord drawn in there. I'll make each side of this equal to 1. Our percent shaded is the area of the sector minus the area of that triangle, and it's divided by the total area, which is the area of the sector. Each side is 1, then the area of the sector is 1 fourth of pi r squared. That would make that 1 fourth of pi. The area of the triangle is 1 half times 1 times 1, which would make that 1 half, and it's over 1 fourth pi. Now, the numbers I chose this time probably weren't the best because I have all these fractions, but what we can do is multiply numerator and denominator both by the same thing to simplify. We multiply numerator and denominator both by 4. That turns into pi minus 2 over pi. That is going to be our simplest exact answer, and if you'd chosen better numbers at the beginning, you would have come up with this anyways and that's about 36.3%.
here's the next one. Percent shaded. The denominator is the area of the entire, which is the area of the circle. The numerator is going to be indirect. It's the area of the circle minus the area of the pentagon. But it's not all that. It's not all that region. It's just two-fifths of that region. To start off with, we're going to have to insert a length. And I can make it the apothem of the regular pentagon, or I can make it the radius of the circle. My suggestion is to go with the radius of the circle because that will make the arithmetic simpler. Choose a nice even number of two. And I can draw in all those segments. The radius of the circle doesn't change. The distance from the center of the pentagon to the vertex doesn't change. So all those lengths are going to be two. So the area of the circle is going to be our easier part. It's one-fourth pi times radius squared. So pi times two squared is four pi. Minus the area of the pentagon. Here's our four pi down here. So maybe it would have made sense to have something, a radius of five, because then the two-fifths would have distributed a little bit nicer. Um, but I'm going to go with the four. And I'm going to focus on this triangle. Each side is 2. If we take 360 divided by 5, I find that this angle in the middle, this central angle, is 72 degrees. It's a side angle, side scenario. And I could draw in an apothem, do the 1 half perimeter times apothem, but I see this as being the easier way. The area of that triangle is 1 half times 2 times 2 times the sine of 72 degrees. That makes the area of that triangle 2 times the sine of 72. The area of the pentagon is five times bigger than that because there's five of those triangles in there which make that 10 times the sine of 72. Now if you did the apothem and trig in there, your exact answer would have been different for that pentagon. It's okay, it's just different. What I see at this point is there's that two-fifths out front. We can distribute the two to everything, but I really don't want to divide everything by five because of the numbers that I chose. So I'm going to choose to multiply numerator and denominator by five getting rid of that in the numerator. The denominator now becomes 20 pi because there's nothing to simplify. Distribute that 2 and we get 8 pi minus 20 times the sine of 72. All of those coefficients still can be divided by 4, so it's going to simplify a little bit more down to this. In fact, the answer should simplify down to this, and that is approximately 9.7%. So in this problem, we have the circle inscribed inside of the triangle. And you might not see, but there's a red angle marking down there. So when we draw on the radius to that point, radius to that point, it's perpendicular to the tangent, which makes three red angles. So we have a fourth red angle, which means that this is a square. So all those sides are one. And um, the area shaded is going to be the circle, or the triangle minus the circle. One half times three times four gives us an area of six. That's going to be our numerator and denominator area of the triangle, minus the area of that circle, which is pi times 1 squared. And if we simplify that, we get about 47.6%. And here is the last problem. These shapes are all regular, so the center of the regular triangle is the center of the circle, is the center of the square. I'm going to start in the middle, although I could start on the outside, or I could start with the circle. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to say that this distance is going to be equal to 2. And then everything else is based off of that. Our percent shaded is the shaded area divided by the total area. The total area is the area of the triangle. The shaded area is the area of the circle minus the area of the square. So we have to find three different areas and combine them. Area of the square, this whole length is going to be 4. Um, so 1 half the diagonal squared, which is going to make that area equal to 8. 1 half times 4 squared. And then the area of the circle is pi times the radius of 2 squared, so that's 4 pi. The area of the triangle, I'll draw in a little darker segment here. That's the radius of the circle, so that length is going to be 2. Draw in this segment, and now we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. 2 was the short leg, 2 root 3 is the long leg, which means that each side of the regular triangle is going to be equal to 4 root 3. The area of the regular triangle is 4 root 3 squared times root 3 over 4. When we square this, that's 48. 48 divided by 4 is 12, so that's 12 root 3. Divide all of those by 4. We have pi minus 2 over 3 root 3, and that is about 22.0% shaded.